wife woke me up like three o'clock in the morning, told me that we had water up into the driveway here. I was gonna go down in the back corner of the basement there and I looked on the back wall and I had a crack about two inches wide. I had run back up upstairs there. I heard a bang and the whole back wall collapsed. The basement filled up with water right up to the floor joints. All right, well, we got to explore this church. Absolutely beautiful place. Here's one of the other houses next to the church. Well, if you take a look. Here's inside the garage of this house. Still left quite a bit of things. This house on the corner is set to be knocked down. Uh, I'm not sure why that car is there. It might be abandoned. It looks kind of old. You used to live in this house? Yes. The Baraboo River come up over the banks. I moved the vehicles up here to get them up out of the water. I walked out to the end of the driveway and the water was up to my chest. I grabbed a hold of the fence or I ended up down in the pond. The water was pushing me off my feet. So I got through the current there, got up there and I pulled the vehicles up onto the grass. Upstairs there, I heard a bang, the whole back wall collapsed. The basement filled up with water right up to the floor joints. Wow. And then when that did that, took out our furnace and hot water heater. So the house filled up with natural gas. And we were standing out here in waist deep water calling 911 to get us, get a boat down here to get us out. We crawled up on the front steps and they come here with the fire department, come down with a boat to get us out of the water or whatever. We just, you know, left the house without any clothes, nothing. Three or four days after that, there, right around Labor Day, then we got another six inches in the water come up some more yet there. And it took the force of the water, took everything and just pushed all the walls right in. Pardon? Did you try to salvage some stuff in here? Yeah, we took some stuff out of there. I mean, wow, like, that's... Have you walked in the house? Oh, you, I guess you, you know, if you want to take a look at it or whatever. But all the furniture and everything was all underwater. I mean. You know, how's it, how's it feel coming back here, check, seeing it, your house like this? It's hard, you know. Yeah, we lived here for 40 years. Had 40 years worth of memories here. Huh. Just walk away from it. Living in an apartment. You know, it's, it's hard to do, but, you know, life goes on. You know, you just got to keep, keep plugging away, you know. Got plants going through it now. It's everything's here's overgrown. Well, anyways, let's see. You can kind of see in there. They don't have a basement. That's probably why it's in not so bad shape. Oh wow! Right there, that is the entire basement of this house. Completely exposed. All the bricks, the brickwork is like collapsed. It's the inside. Definitely not going in this house. Here we are at the next house. As you can see, they tried restoring it, but now it sits abandoned. All because of that second flood that wiped it all out. Let's see. That is unbelievable. That is just something crazy to see. Here's an open window. I'm not gonna go in here probably, but once again, 
Um, but yeah, man, this person just, look at that. He just left. They never came back, looks like. Look at that. The walls just go outside. Like, there's like no, barely any walls. This would have been a nice house, too. The original church was built in 1886, and in 1977, this front part was added on. We had a flood, and the water was you know, like this high. Just got torn out, and that was it. This way. Well, this looks like it would have been a nice basement back yeah, in the day. This old wood can't buy lumber like that anymore. It's you know, 150 years old. It's just solid as a rock. And the picture there of Jesus, he's praying the day before they take him, Monday, Thursday. Good Friday, they crucify him. You can see he's, uh, the disciples are supposed to be keeping watch, but they fall asleep. Three of the disciples, I forget their names. The altar itself, I believe it was in the 1890s it was made. Are you guys going to save some of the stuff inside here? We're going to try to, yeah. There was a time you had to be a confirmed member before you could set up here. My mother-in-law tells me the story. She was well, probably 14, 15 years old. She uh, was sitting there and there was some old man that died. He died there and he slid down out of his chair and went down, bet slid down between her feet and <laughs> she took off. That would be scary for a 15 year old girl. Yeah, he died she like right the there. Yeah. Donald Price, I knew him quite well. He, uh, he never even spoke of, to his own kids much about it, but I think he went through like France and Germany and that. 1970, or before 77. Interesting. Take a look at the size of this house. It's even got like that little tower part. Oh, that is all flooded down there. So these houses here survived. The ones down here all were wiped out. Of course, it's all flooded. Got a bicycle in there. This blue one didn't fare so well. You know what, this is about as far as I'm gonna walk in there. Looks like these people might have recovered a little bit better. Cause uh, not too many, as many personal things, but still lost a lot from this flood. All right, this is probably the last house we're gonna check out. So whoever lived here definitely had kids. Got their boats and everything still here, the camper. How's it going? Oh, they still got a bunch of stuff in here though. Yeah, I don't know. They got a bunch of tackle boxes. And oh yeah, no. no. Yeah. I think they're still coming back to get stuff. Yeah, <laughs> nah, we better not. Yeah, I, I get that. Well. This lady here, she had just, she didn't even live there all well. The summer, so she didn't even live there six months. Huh. Just bought the house and lost it that fast. That's really sad. The one next to it, there was an older couple that lived there, and the lady wouldn't come out. The neighbors actually went down with a boat, waded down there, and drove her out of there, put her in a boat, and got her out. Wow. She didn't want to leave.
you'd like to say about you know FEMA or anything? Well, like, so far, you know, we haven't had much response from FEMA or whatever. They're you know they they keep talking how you know eventually you get get compensated for it, but you know right now we're just renting and we're in limbo. All these houses are all down through here in Franklin. And all these houses are still still waiting.